So what's going on here? Tell us about, the, uh, about your room here. Yeah, this room is, uh, it's like a gift shop and we decided to call it gift shop. But, yeah. Um, yeah. When I was a kid in Cleveland, I would go to the mall and mm -hmm. there was Spencer's gift shop. Right. So like that was one of my favorite places to go to. And they had this room, at least the one in Cleveland at the mall, they had a, they literally had a velvet curtain and mm -hmm. you'd open it up and go in the back and it was like a little installation. Uh -huh. It had black light posters and lava lamps and holograms and <laughs> weird, you know, <laughs> stuff. How old were you? Uh, between like five and 12. Oh, that's and that's impressionable. Very. So this room is really autobiographical in a sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, all, it's something I've also wanted in a, in a real show, like a, like a museum show, uh -huh. is that you have a gift shop. Right. And that someday I'd like to do that where the gift shop, mm -hmm. if I had a show with stuff for sale, <laughs> is kind of also like Spencer's Gifts. Mm -hmm. And even maybe have some found things, but design everything, like say t-shirts and post, you know, the whole thing. So this is a, a first whack at that mm -hmm. kind of idea. So can you talk us a little yeah. bit about that piece here? What's the medium? That is oil pastel. Yeah, and there's yeah. a black light. They're um, shining on it horizontally. Yeah, there's the black light that is, it's like the Dan Flavin corner pieces. Mm -hmm. It's but a gorgeous it, piece, Victoria. Yeah, it came out nice. I, yeah. And I left all the particles on the floor on purpose. Mm -hmm. It's very, when you look at the texture, it's very, very loose and falling apart and a mess. But um, the geometry is really strict. Right. So it kind of right. holds together that uh -huh. uh, mess. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This mm -hmm. is a ripple tank. Mm -hmm. The, essentially, this is how a hologram is made. This is the, it's called an interference pattern, um, but, but with light. Mm -hmm. This is water, mm -hmm. that's oil pastel, that's light. And they're all the same manipulation of, of waves, mm -hmm. wave patterns. Mm -hmm. So to me, it's kind of like magic. It's mm -hmm. like a core magic of mm -hmm. my uh, process. I believe this piece over here is like a technical tour de force. Um, yeah. which it's actually a hologram of a tambourine and um, can you tell us about the technique of this piece? Yes, this is called a, a Denisia hologram. It's a uh, Russian technique. All I simply did is just take this plate of glass that um, is coated in uh, England. I just take the piece of glass and lay it on top of those prongs that you see there and then laser light hits it, it creates a wave pattern, and then the wave energy is recording on the emulsion. And uh, that's it. It's, uh, and then it's processed a little bit like a uh, photograph. Isn't it hard to manipulate to yeah. achieve that? Extremely. Is that, that a skill? Yeah, everything, yeah. part of it is that nothing can move mm -hmm. uh, microscopically down to a quarter of a wavelength of light, um, which is really small depending on the, the light you use. Um, the one next to it shows what happens when something does move. So that's my hand and you see that even the heat from my hand is canceling light. Mm -hmm. So that was made the weekend after David Bowie died mm -hmm. and uh, I made a series of holograms of my hand where because I'm moving and because I'm alive it's killing the light. It's destroying the image. Mm -hmm. and metaphorically the my being alive is killing light mm -hmm. so a lot of my work has to do with light mm -hmm. so it's called destructive interference this group of holograms they're called uh, orders of light and they're if i was explaining this to you tomorrow uh, yesterday is if you have seen a rainbow before on a really clear day Sometimes you see a second rainbow, mm -hmm. like two of them. That, if, if it was really clear, you'd see a third one, and a fourth one, and a fifth one. It just keeps going Repeating infinity, itself. But yeah. you just can't see them. Mm -hmm. That's basically what's happening here, is mm -hmm. that the waves of light are being stretched. It's just an image of the light bulb up there. Repeating to infinity. Yeah, it's repeating. If this hologram was really wide, right. you'd see it start fading out. Uh -huh. There are more holograms. These are, I did with my son. This was the first 
time he made holograms. <laughs> this is his first hologram ever, actually. Uh -huh. uh, and it's all just things we found around Red Hook and um, in the neighborhood. Uh, and it's sort of like a narrative of as if you were going out at night and partying really mm -hmm. hard. Mm -hmm. And so there's some crack, there's a, um, a uh, blunt wrapper, mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> booze, right. some visine. It's, if you have a headache, you know, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. It's party night. Yeah, party night. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>